Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again to talk about some masterclass tips and questions that you've been asking me over the past couple of weeks. Nilton from Brazil and Lisa from Long Island want to talk about pretty much the same thing and that is time management in practicing and time management in warming up. So if we only had 10 minutes, if we only had 20 minutes, if we only had 30 luxurious minutes, what would we do? And then Nilton from Brazil wants to know if his practice routine is efficient. Nilton does 10 minutes of Moise Tone and 30 minutes Taffanel Gobert, 20 minutes major and minor scales, and an hour on pieces. So Nilton, I think that for you, the intermediate student, to achieve the advanced level, that is wonderful. Now please understand that journey, the journey of practicing, is not logged in hours. So the question that Nilton asks about how many hours a day does it take to be a great flute player really is countless and it's up to you. If you'd like to play another hour, please do. You know, if you only have 30 minutes, then some, that's a luxury for some of us in this day now. Our, 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 our days have shifted, our, our, um, our calendars have shifted, and our time management has shifted. So let's go to Lisa who's asking, if you only have 10 minutes to warm up, what are you gonna do? Well, I'm gonna do De La Sonorite, which is always on my music stand. And I'm gonna do some, probably some transposing. I like to take everything into different key and, and test my, my ear. So tone development through interpretation is great. And we know that um, we have lots of ways to practice uh, tone. So you have long tones, you have vibrato exercise, you have lots of um, slow, you know, interval, intervallic exercises, then you want to move on to technique. And if you're doing technique, why don't you divide it into three sections, scales, arpeggios, and noodles. Yes, noodles. So scales would be Tafanel Gobert, one, two, three, four, five. Arpeggios, Tafanel Gobert number 10, 12, all those thirds and fourths, and then the noodles. And those are like patterns. Makar and Reichert. So make sure you're doing three kinds of technique if you can. And then if you're going into your 30th glory, glorious minute, you really should play an etude if you can or at least some J.S. Bach. So here I have you know, the J.S. Bach cello suites for you all. If you'd like an etude, I have the rows. Uh, they were arranged for clarinet and they're based on the Fairling oboe etudes. So the Cyril Rose etudes are super fun. Try to do at least two to three etudes a week for yourself. And um, if you'd like to hear me warm up, you can hear it on the movie that I made called The Anatomy of Sound. It's on the second movie. It's called Have You Ever Heard Your Teacher Warm Up? So I hope I've helped and just make sure that your time management is flexible. If you have to leave the flute for a little while, just know that the flute will always be there for you. So email me with any of your topics and questions and thanks for joining me today.